Hey guys, it's Coach Clay from Coach Larry Clay's truck. And uh, as usual, I'm video blogging while I drive. Even as dangerous as some people might think that is, um, I generally do not make eye contact with the camera unless I'm uh, at an almost complete stop or something of that nature. Or very, very seldomly I'll, I'll kind of skim over like so and uh, look at the camera. But <clears throat> so um, just to kind of get on with stuff, you know, here, here, uh, my last, my last post video blogs, we've. Um, We've actually talked about things like being transparent, uh, being a leader, how do you lead, what is a true leader, etc., etc. And it kind of brings up um, something else, and I realized, and maybe this needs to be my next post, but um, what what you truly believe, um, I believe you, I'm sorry, what you truly want to lead in, uh, I believe you really do have to know, A, what your beliefs are. Um, and B, know what they are because of what you do that, that shows that. What's the fruit of your quote-unquote beliefs? If you're not doing anything with them, it's it's nothing but a bunch of uh, rhetoric, um, you know, that we're talking, we're throwing out there, regardless if it's in anger or what, whatever's going on. Um, in fact, it's it's one of my favorite posts that I that I've ever put up. It's uh, I actually say. What we do is what we truly believe. The rest is just religious talk and angry rhetoric. And I honestly, I truly do believe that. We truly can get wrapped up so much in what's going on on Facebook, regardless if you're talking about the ISIS situation or Ebola taking over every city in the world or, you know, whatever else, whatever, whatever other bunch of hype is going on in the Facebook world um, every day and not to knock those things I think they're all horrible but the crazy thing is is are we just literally conditioning ourselves to keep that anger in by doing nothing but posting about it on Facebook when we see something about it or sharing this post or sharing that post or if you if you really truly believe that we should you know be able to have our guns walk around with them do whatever we want or what are you doing about it are you walking around with your guns are you walking around with your guns legally are are you are are you signing signing petitions that you know are going to go past your signature and and actually to somebody that can do something because basically if all we're doing is just talking about something then it's a waste of breath and uh, honestly I have to be the first one to tell you that's one of the ways that we can get sucked into Facebook for sure and just staying on there all day is looking at all the crap that's on there. Um, and you know, I just, <clears throat> I don't believe in wasting my, wasting my time or my breath when it comes to things. And I, I think most people truly don't. Um, you know, with that being said, I, uh, I guess it comes down to really, if you want to know how, how, what you're supposed to lead in, Stop looking at the things that you rant with and start looking at the things that you actually do take steps with. I mean, are you truly, if you're if you're posting about this kind of stuff on Facebook daily, are you taking steps in your community with the people around you, with your brother, your sister, your co-workers, your employees, your boss, your people, your, na your next door neighbors, and are you really actually saying something and doing something? Are you forming a committee, forming a group, forming, you know, say, taking a petition to the public um, and taking that to a, somebody in your state that can actually do something about it and pushing them to push it further and being educated about, about it when you do. <clears throat> um, we, we can get so lost in just our own personal rants that we forget about anything and everything and literally all, we, all we're focusing on is just the anger behind our stuff. And I'll be honest, it's kind of one of the reasons that I literally don't even look at the news feed much anymore unless somebody tags me in something that they, you know, think I would have interest in. And and on, in all honesty, if that has something to do with negativity, I generally don't even pay attention to it. I kick it out of my mind as quick as I can and just go on about my business. Said, I guess my challenge to you today will be 
to figure out what you truly do believe and where's the proof that you believe about that and don't tell me Facebook <laughs> in fact don't even tell yourself Facebook um, if you if there's something that angers you something that's bothering you um, let's let's figure out a way to lovingly take action and step out of line of fire of all the drama and let's get straight into setting up an action plan to conquer that by establishing things that are better routes for this or that to go as compared to ranting and raving, getting ha getting hacked off, thinking you're getting hacked off, <clears throat> and flaring up the rest of everybody in the Facebook community. Let's do something. Let's really pursue our quote unquote beliefs. And so with all that being said, I guess that should do it for the day. Have a great day, guys, and uh, stay safe. Train, uh, train hard if you're one of the students at Reaction Self-Defense and Fitness. In fact, I'll be seeing you here shortly. That's where I'm on my way to now after my, my own workout. And uh, if you're not a Reaction Fitness and Self-Defense student, then train hard in life. Have a great day, guys.